Hi everyone, today we are heading to Cartier. This is the flagship store here in Manhattan. I had an appointment to go and drop off my watch. So as I was heading in, I took a little bit of footage, some eye candy from the windows so I could show you guys. And then once I get inside, I went upstairs to this waiting room. And yeah, I dropped off this watch here, my one and only Cartier watch, 17 years well loved, very scratched up as you can see. I took some pictures and videos so I could remember what it looked like before and you'll see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so I'm not just going to show you a little bit of eye candy. I really want to focus the remainder of this video on explaining the whole process of what it was like to get my Cartier watch serviced. So here it is. I actually did pick it up. I was happy to be reunited. And this is what it looks like now. You saw the earlier photos with all the scratches. Now it is just gleaming, shiny, polished, absolutely no scratches anywhere. It looks like a brand new watch. So let me explain step by step. The reason why I was prompted to go to Cartier and actually, you know, drop this off in the first place is because my battery had died or that's what I thought, right? So I've had this watch for 17 years. For those of you who know the story, it's very special to me because my parents gifted this to me when my husband and I got engaged. So it was an engagement slash early wedding gift and then they gifted him a Rolex. So those are the two watches that we have and we just, we don't need any watches after this one this is so special a lot of you asked me why won't you buy a rolex or are you looking to buy any more time pieces no i really only need one so this is the one for me but it had been 17 years so in that 17 year time span the battery died on me twice so i got the battery swapped out two times and i thought okay the battery died again you know it's about that time so i brought it in saying i need a new battery which is, I, I forgot how much it is, but it's maybe $75 or something like that. And she said, wow, let me look up your account. And when she looked up my account, everything came up and she saw the two times that the batteries were changed. And it was actually reassuring because I had changed my name from maiden name to married name. I had changed my address a couple times, but still all of my information was logged in there. And I think it's just because all of the information is tracked by the watch's serial number, not your personal information. So anyway, it's actually kind of nice to know. And if you were to buy... Uh, a pre-loved watch from like a certified third party I think it's cool that they could pull up the account or the account history and see what was done to the watch so long story short she tells me you can absolutely get a new battery but that's not going to guarantee that the, the watch will work perfectly because it's been so long and you've never gotten it serviced and if you decline service and you only get a new battery and something goes wrong then Cartier's warranty will not kick in like you're sort of invalidating the warranty by declining uh, the full service so I thought I love this watch so much it's such a classic investment piece and 17 years to get it serviced once like it's totally worth it so i said let's go ahead so i basically just took it off my wrist and handed it to her on a tray and she said they would do a full diagnostic and i didn't pay anything at that point i just left the watch with her and she said she would email me in a few days once the all the you know things and parts and insides and guts were checked and yeah, it was only about four or five days later, I received an email with a full diagnostic. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to cover my personal information because you don't need to see that. But this is the diagnostic that I printed out. I'm sure you hear the sirens in the background. I hope it's not too distracting. There's some ambulance passing by. So here is the diagnostic and you can see here that after careful examination the Maison's master craftsman uh, found these issues so an oil renewal was required I don't even know what that means battery low voltage crystal scratched case was normal wear which is the outside all those scratches I guess that was just normal wear and the bracelet oh so the, I guess this is the case and this is the bracelet I don't know all the terminology normal wear so that's nice even though i didn't baby this the fact that it was all normal wear scratches and all that that makes me feel better and then this was the they call it interventions it's funny um, but this is how they sort of restored my watch back to almost brand spanking new and so they did a refurbishment of the movement replacement of the battery 
replacement of any worn or damaged components, uh, water resistance renewal for water resistant watches. And this is a water resistant watch. And the lady who was sitting next to me, who was also getting a, a piece serviced, she was either dropping off or picking up. And she said her issue was she didn't know there was a tiny, tiny crack in her watch and water got into it. So then it led to bigger problems. So she was like, you're better off getting it serviced sooner rather than later so they did check for that and the movement as well and then the polishing which is what removed all of the scratches that was actually a complimentary service so i'm going to tell you how long this whole process took and how much it was i dropped it off it took maybe four or five days to get this diagnostic then you have to reply to the email and say either yes or no whether or not you want them to do the work i said yes they give you a quote as well and so they started the work and the work took a while it probably about four weeks or so and so the whole process was maybe a month to six weeks before i picked it up and this was the um this was the quote here so the complete service cost 385 dollars but then of course there's new york city tax and it came out to 419 dollars and 17 cents and that includes the complimentary polishing so i know it sounds like you know 419 dollars that wasn't an expense unexpected expense or it was an unexpected expense, I should say, but it's totally worth it for me because look at my watch, it looks beautiful. And then that means that the warranty kicks back in and so you have the guarantee that if anything goes wrong in the future, Cartier will take care of it. It just looks beautiful and so new and I I like the fact that they, they do such great aftercare. Makes me feel like it's even more of an investment piece you guys know i don't mean investment in terms of like financial investment i mean just something you can have forever that will be timeless so yeah the process took about five to six weeks in total cost about 420 dollars uh, by the way the name of this watch is the santos demazel it is like the petite version of the santos it's a little bit more feminine unfortunately this was discontinued many years ago and i have received lots of questions about this watch and the name and all of that there are some on the pre-loved market but obviously they're a little bit more expensive than what my parents paid 17 years ago well that's to be expected with price increases and inflation but they are available um, you just have to be careful where you purchase from right um, i'll give you a close-up so it's got the uh, all the steel very shiny and it's got the roman numerals and then it has the uh, sapphire little stud here on the side this is what it looks back here it's pretty um it's not heavy, you know, it's pretty light and comfortable on the wrist, but it also has some weight to it, right? It's not flimsy. I do love this really pretty bracelet, as they call it. I really love this style. My parents did a nice job. I know it was my mom who chose it. She did a really nice job. So um, she's got a watch as well that she probably needs to get serviced. In fact, her sapphire either cracked or fell out or something. So I should tell her about this process and bring her. So yeah, that was the entire process and I'm really glad that I did it. If you are an owner of a Cartier watch and you haven't gotten it serviced at all or in quite some time, then I highly recommend because I think it's just, you know, great for the health of your watch and to keep it in good good standing, good performance for the long run and it also looks so beautiful when it comes out like this all polished up. And uh, I do think that the the service cost are very very reasonable considering how good of a job they do and how long this you know watch can last really a lifetime and you can also pass it on like i just i love this so much um i know that rolexes are super big right now and a lot of people are trying to either get their hands on rolexes or it's on their wish list but i'm just not i don't have anything against rolexes i, I my husband has one he never wears it i could technically take it from him he wouldn't care i don't love the whole winding you know it's a little bit of maintenance for me i like the fact that this doesn't require that and it's just easy kind of fuss free and I do love the look of the Cartier timepieces so and I'm also you guys know if you're regulars here I'm not really one to like you know duplicate and collect several of the same type of things so I'm so happy with this and I'm so happy I got it serviced if you are on the fence about purchasing a Cartier watch new um, I do want to just share with you that my experience has been great in terms of quality craftsmanship 
longevity, service, customer service, care, all of that. And then if you're maybe considering going pre-loved, I do love the fact that there is like a record of each watch and there is a history if you do purchase from a legitimate, reputable third party. In fact, one of the times I got the battery changed, it wasn't even at the Cartier store. It was at a third party boutique here in the city, which has since closed. And to my surprise, when the Cartier sales associate pulled up my account, she could see the date and the time of when I got that battery and the place I got it. So it literally tracks every movement as long as the um, company or the store that takes it in records the actual serial number. It's a unique serial number to each watch, obviously. So anyway, really happy with... Cartier right now really happy with my watch thought it would be interesting to share I'll give you another close-up it's so shiny it literally looks like a brand new watch I feel like I just got a new watch so hope this was interesting if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next time bye bye